How's it going, everybody? We got Zombie Scarlet Witch now confirmed coming to Marvel Strike Force. We got her kit. We got Undying Reworks, not just to their kits, but to their stats, which is a big thing with the new stat line. And we definitely got to talk about the value of this team for those who don't have them yet build and for those who do have them build. Let's go ahead and let's jump into that right away, talking about Zombie Scarlet Witch. What if she had a taste for brains? A new figure has abandoned the war against humanity's last survivors in favor of a war raging on Alliance Helicarrier carriers. Scarlet Witch, Zombie, the rotting Hex Hellion joins her fellow brain eaters, Iron Man, Zombie, and Juggernaut, Zombie, along with the Goddess of Death, Hella, on an Undying team. And if you thought Undying was an Alliance war monster before just wait until you see the dark magic they can whip up against the top dogs of war hopefully not the literal war dogs because we don't need a war dogs counter there's lots of teams that beat those guys you may need the help of mephisto or odin to stop this zombie invasion let's meet the new zombie in an unfortunate alternate reality scarlet witch was transformed into a terrifying zombie after a virus ravaged earth's heroes and villains turning them into undead monstrosities if you haven't read the zombie comic book arc, like the, the whole event, I mean, if you're squeamish, don't. But if you're not, it's a good read, especially around Halloween. It's, it's definitely worth it. Especially anything related to Spider-Man. <laughs> All right. Even in her zombified state, Wanda retained her powerful chaos magic, using it with deadly precision to manipulate reality, fire energy blasts, and telekinetically control objects. Driven by her undead hunger and twist, twisted by the virus, the zombie Scarlet Witch became an unstoppable force, preying on survivors and even overpowering her former allies. Zombie Scarlet Witch is a support for the Undying team, sure she is, and she adds some major power to her squad. On any turn, if she is not exhausted, so we've seen this sort of language before when it comes to characters like Mephisto, Black Knight, Alpha Flight, which normally means like they are overpowered if she needs this to slow her down. Anyway. On any turn, if she is not exhausted, Zombie Scarlet Witch flips all bleeds on herself and all Undying allies. Okay, so bleed protection. I mean, that's not, that's, that's okay. It's not the end of the, that's not super big. On war offense, so this is an offensive team still. If her health is greater or equal to 50%, she and her Undying allies can't gain trauma. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. We see a lot of power in that when it comes to like Thanos endgame in the arena. While enemies can't feel speed bar. Ooh. While enemies can't feel speed bar for themselves. Hold on. Hold the phone. Wait a minute. Slow down. I wonder if this is going to be the same sort of power level as Captain Britain. Where it's on spawn. Like it would stop scroll on spawn speed bar. Or if we're more looking at an Iron Patriot passive. Where it's like it happens after the fact. Because the vulnerable happens after the on spawn. I wonder what we're looking at. I'm kind of reading this as... On spawn, greater or equal to 50%, they won't gain speed bar because she's going to spawn in with that, right? We'll see We'll see with the order of operations we get to her passive. Maybe we'll have better uh, intel then. Her attacks have serious bite as any enemy killed by Zombie Scarlet Witch can't be revived. Her dark magic is on full display with this trick. If Z Scarlet Witch Zombie begins the battle with an allied juggernaut, if he is slain and not revived, upon her next turn after his death, She'll summon a Juggernaut Zombie with two charged. Hold on. This is gigantic. Because that's like the biggest threat with the zombie team is if he gets perma-killed by like... Currently, it's Black Cat with Spider Society. I assume we're going to get a new war season soon. So if an allied Juggernaut Zombie is slain and not revived... So I mean, he revives when he gets five charges. But I wonder if... So she'll summon a, a Juggernaut Zombie. The fact that it's a summon tells me it's not going to be your Juggernaut Zombie. It's going to be whatever her summon. It's kind of like Quicksilver summons in a Scarlet Witch. I assume it's going to be like that, so not as powerful, but still a pre-taunter that can you know, do the mechanics for you. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Traits. Uh-oh. Villain. Global. Bio. Mystic. Okay, dual trait is, is dope. I do like that. Support, Undying, Epic. The other Undyings are Epic, so I guess we should have expected this. This does this does raise a huge red flag for me 
when it comes to like the Captain Britain unlock. So, I mean, this video might just be, I might instantly hate doing this video uh, if later down we, we read that you need to like buy the Night Stalker team to five stars or some bullshit like that. I really hate the forced, insane exclusivity they're doing. Anyway, maybe this will become a rant video. Let's read the kit first. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 240% damage. Apply heal block for two turns. If this character is not at full energy, apply bleed to the primary target and call a random Iron Man zombie or Juggernaut zombie ally to attack the primary target. Okay, Juggernaut zombie getting called in for an attack is crazy because he hits so hard when he has charges uh, and red stars. This attack cannot be counterattacked. On more offense, this attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked. Okay, so if this character is not full energy, apply bleed to the primary. So if she doesn't have full energy, so... I mean, technically, she doesn't have full energy turn warrant. I guess you could do that. I don't think that'll apply on a striker attack. Normally, not. Oh, well, I guess we can read right here. Target memory target and adjacent. And then apply heal block. Okay, so obviously no mind control or no ally assist coming in. Special attack primary target for 240% damage plus apply... Disrupt ability block for two turns and two bleeds. Okay, attack all enemies for 240% damage. Apply plus one bleed up to a maximum of five to each enemy. So she is putting a blanket bleed. She's speed 115. Is that going to make her the fastest if she spawns with speed up like the others? I don't know the zombie jargon on speed up top of my head. All right, uh, but yeah, she's going to attack everyone. She's going to put bleed on everybody, which activates the zombie Iron Man passive, right? Apply safeguard for two turns to self and all allies. That's huge. Because one of the biggest downfalls is when Hela gets those death bruise flipped and gets murked. So if she's going to have two turns of safeguard, that's two turns where she's just going to keep like racking up these death proofs. And same with zombie juggernaut. He's just going to be getting charges, right? And if he if, if Hela's alive, he's probably going to be reviving all over the place. And then he's actually going to get to do the damage. This is actually a crazy crazy buff right here this part of scarlet witch applying safeguard this really elevates the uh, undying team on more offense apply immunity um, okay here we go we're also applying immunity for two turns to self and all undying allies on more offense this attack gains 15 percent damage against enemies with bleed and cannot be counterattacked. on more offense this attack is unavoidable cannot be blocked okay i like that ultimate turn two Clear all barrier on all enemies and flip all positive effects and negative effects on each enemy. I love this. We have so many characters that do this now. It's it's starting to become less special, but not less powerful, right? Um, I really, really, really like it when we're flipping all positive effects. Okay. Attack all enemies for 350% piercing. Remember, she's going to have new stats. So though this number seems low, all these numbers seem low, so she's probably going to hit like a truck. Plus prolong the duration of all negative effects. Oh, they they maintained the OG Scarlet Witch theme where she's doing her alt, she's hitting everybody, extending buffs. I do like that. I just hope that this Scarlet Witch actually does damage because Scarlet Witch is such a beast of a character. Like She deserves to kick ass. This attack ignores defense up and cannot be counterattacked on war offense. This attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked. Love it. Passive, character skill by Scarlet Witch cannot be revived. We knew that. On spawn, bear yourself for 30% of this character's max health. Okay. On any turn, if this character does not have exhaust flip, I'll bleed on self and all undying allies. We knew that. On turn, if allied juggernaut zombie has died and it's not a current, yeah, he's, she's going to summon one. This can only trigger once per match. Okay. On more offense, on spawn, bear your all undying allies for 30%. Summon juggernaut zombie spawns with plus two charge. We like that. So he's closer to his revive. He's going to be doing more damage. If this character's health is greater or equal to 50%, this character and all undying allies cannot gain trauma. We knew that. If this character's health is greater or equal to 50%, enemies cannot fill speed bar for themselves or allies. This does not apply to speed bar gain through normal means. All this means is like, yes, and I mean, enemies will still eventually take turns. I think, but I do think that this is going to apply on spawn. We don't really see into the order of operations here. This is all on war offense. So this is not a defensive team. I love that, by the way. I love that it's an offensive team, not a defensive team. Um, I think this is going to be like the Captain Britain effect where it happens on spawn. That's super, super powerful. Juggernaut Zombie. We got some stat updates, but no kit changes. So health 25, good. Damage 26. Like Zombie Juggernaut's damage is actually absurd. Once he gets those charges up and you have like him bigger red stress, I assume he's going to be farmable soon since we're getting a new Undying character. He's going to be a freaking monster, man. Now we have four Undying people, right? Hella plus the Zombies. Pair that with Robbie Reyes, and it's it's crazy, man. 
Armor 25%, Focus 25%, Resist 25%. Okay, so pretty much 25% across the board. Good. He didn't need a crazy amount of stats, but 25% is a crazy increase. So I do think that's going to bring him into that new level category. Iron Man Zombie Updates. Base stat increase. Health 15%, Damage 15%, Armor 15%, Focus 30 Resist 30 I'm not surprised he didn't get nearly as much love. He Like, they really just want him to be his passive, right? Um, when he first came out, he actually was a monster with the stats, the damage he could do if people cracked down on him, got high red stars, high yellow stars on him. He actually did benefit from those red stars a lot. Um, and he still does to a certain extent, but I don't think they want the whole team to be scaling that high because the team gets too crazy then, right? So Zombie Scarlet Witch is probably going to be a menace. Zombie Juggernaut, I think he's probably going to be like the, the blunt force damage of the team, like... You know, the enemies, they're going to bleed out. They're going to kill each other. But then Zombie Juggernaut actually has the ability to actually hurt people himself and take people out. So that's interesting. We do get reworked uh, kit to Zombie Iron Man, though. So the basic. And now, okay, these are huge changes. Mind control the primary target to attack the most injured enemy that does not have bleed. They took the does not have bleed part out. This is great. Okay, so it's just, hey, always going to mind control. Special. The exact same thing. All they did was take that does not have bleed part out. This is huge. So it's it's just a smarter team now. Also unavoidable. Unavoidable special? Oh, that's giant. Oh, that's giant. Okay. Zombie Iron Man is just a much better character now. Let's see what happens with the passive. It's now 15% max health. Uh, so if hell is an ally, 100% chance to revive with 50% security max health. Plus 15% for each non-summoned Undying ally. He's going to be coming back with so much life now that we have more Undying characters and they bumped it up by 5%. On more offense, on spawn, if this character has two or more non-summoned Undying allies, apply defense up for two turns to all of them. Uh, or, or sorry, to all allies. Doesn't need to be Undying. So Robbie Reyes would get defense up if he's the fifth. Whoever the fifth is, right? On spawn, if this character has two more non-summoned Undying allies, apply speed up for two turns to self random juggernaut zombie ally and random so scarlet witch is going to be getting speed up on spawn love that awesome 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 hella she's getting 30 percent health damage 25 percent armor 30 percent focus 30 percent resistance um this doesn't really make hella some sort of new monster character these stat changes at least we'll see the kit in a second but it does just make her a little bit tankier definitely more likely to land her uh debuffs and the damage, like when she spreads all the bleeds, they become hella based bleeds, right? So it's nice that she did get a damage bump too. So those bleeds might actually tick for a little bit more. Good. I like that. The special. The special used to call random Iron Man or Juggernaut Zombie Ally to attack the primary. Now it just calls a random non-summon Undying Ally to attack the primary target. Okay. So instead of just including Scarlet Witch in this, it just made it random. Cool. Please know the information of this blog is subject to change before going live in the game. All right, guys, so that's it for the Undying reworks and the character kit. No word. No, it doesn't, they didn't kind of give indications that this is going to be like the Captain Britain pay to unlock, like pay to unlock, not just wait 60 days, but pay to unlock at all method. I will inquire about that. But this team is very interesting. So if you've been playing since the Undying team came out, like that's fantastic. You probably have zombie iron man built up you probably got juggernaut built up have a couple red stars maybe all the way to seven red stars on zombie jugs because of how hard he can hit if you like war um for newer players this is this is going to be a really interesting decision right so war teams have the longest life we now have four out of five undying members this tells me we're probably getting another undying member at least one more in october of 2025 and then maybe we get another one uh, October 2026 that replaces Hella. Maybe they just kind of do it like that, right? Um, because this is a, a dark promotion team, Zombie Iron Man doesn't really need it. Zombie Juggernaut benefits a lot, and it looks like Scarlet Witch is going to benefit a lot too. At least Hella's not, right? This becomes a really, really big investment to undergo. It's hard to justify it, but again, because we're, we're probably going to get another one next year. And the lifespan of war teams is like two and a half years. Investing in these guys now might give you benefit for like the next three years. So you have this like 
auto win war team. I talked about Aries the other day. I love Aries. People have been sleeping on Aries. Oh, you know, he just wore whatever. Aries gets you one out of 10 wins in war three times a week, every week. That's big. If the, the zombie team looks like they're going to be that same sort of caliber, to me, that is an auto investment, especially, especially because it's all offense tagged. With that said, we got to pump the brakes because maybe Scarlet Witch is going to be pay only. I'm going to look into that, but before we find out the bad news, hopefully it's not bad news, uh, let me know what you're thinking about Zombie Scarlet Witch in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the reworks. I think Zombie Juggernaut's going to be an absolute unit out there now. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to talk with you guys in the comments. But as always, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun. And I'll see you in the next one.